following video details the installation process for conventional compression dead ends for ACSR and ACSS conductors. This is applicable to all single tongue I dead end assembly and double tongue I dead end assembly product families. Dead end assemblies include the aluminum body and steel eye. Assemblies may also include jumper terminals with mounting hardware. Today, we will be focusing on the aluminum body and steel eye. The steel and aluminum components are stamped with die size, manufacturing date code, and Fargo catalog number. The aluminum dead end body is also marked with a conductor size and type. In today's training, we will be using a SEDA3309 for an ACSR Drake conductor. Prior to installation, the conductor must be clean, straight, and inlay. Any bend in the conductor end section will tend to make the dead end body bow during compression. Wire brush the conductor after straightening to remove any oxide layers on the conductor. Remove the protective plastic and end caps. Be sure the bores of the fittings are clear of foreign matter. Do not remove any of the grit coating inside the steel barrel. Insert the conductor into the tapered end of the aluminum dead end body and slide the body over the conductor, allowing working room to install steel dead end on the conductor core. Mark the aluminum strands at a distance from conductor end equal to the depth of the bore in the steel dead end barrel plus one inch to allow for elongation of the barrel during compression. Tape wrap the aluminum strands on the span side of the cut mark. Expose the steel core by removing the aluminum strands to the cut mark. Do not nick the steel strands while cutting away the aluminum strands. Fully insert conductor core into the steel barrel. Mount the steel hex die set specified on the steel dead end barrel and press. Lubricate die faces and steel compression barrel with lightweight oil. Make the first compression on the smooth portion of the steel barrel, adjacent the rib section. Continue compression to the end of the steel barrel. Overlap each crimp by an amount necessary to prevent the formation of ridges between adjacent crimps and ensure complete die closure with each crimp. To minimize bowing of the steel barrel, keep barrel well lubricated and fully seated in one die half as dies close. The straight steel bar shows that the crimp steel eye is straight. Mark the conductor at a distance from the aluminum strand cut in equal to the distance of the conductor crimp zone from the aluminum dead end body. Distance from the third neural mark to open end, plus two inches. Wire brush the conductor and immediately apply a generous coat of Fargo joint compound, UJC or HTJC, over the just brush conductor surface. With a clean stainless steel wire brush, V brush type recommended, aggressively brush the full conductor circumference, again from the cut-in tape wrap to the mark applied, and then remove the tape wrap. Slide the aluminum dead end body over the steel dead end until snugly against the felt washer and forging eye collar. Remove and set aside the dead end body filler port plug. With a caulking gun, inject Fargo UJC or HTJC through the filler hole until compound begins to flow out between the aluminum body and the felt washer. Hammer the aluminum plug into the filler hole. Cut or file off any excess length of pin and pin in flush with aluminum barrel if needed. Mount the AH die set specified on the aluminum splice body in the press. Lubricate AH die faces and dead end body between the set of neural marks nearest the steel eye end with lightweight oil or clean plastic wrap material. Continue compression, overlap each crimp by an amount necessary to prevent the formation of ridges between adjacent crimps, and ensure complete die closure with each crimp. Smooth out any flashes on the sides of the dead end if needed. After proper installation, the dead end will be ready to be used. Thanks for watching. For any questions, please contact customer service.